The Minecraft 1.21 update has just been released, and I'm going to show you everything it has to offer. We're deviating from my regular gameplay content, so if you like this video and subscribe, then you'll see more content like this in the future. Anyway, no more hesitation, let's go. So the Tricky Trials update has a lot of new features, so I designed this little museum to showcase each one. That of course includes a number of new blocks, and first off, we're going to take a look at copper. Now copper, of course, was added as early as back as 1.17, but this update brings a number of new variants to the game. So here we have the copper door and trap door and all of their oxidized variants. Much like the other copper blocks, you can craft them or find them naturally spawning in the trial chambers below ground. And then behind me, we have the copper bulb. Once you turn it on with a signal, it stays on until you send another signal its way. Also notice how, uh, let me turn these on real quick. Also notice how as each one oxidizes further, the light also gets a little bit dimmer. And then over here we have the copper grate and chiseled copper. Uh, these are especially decoration blocks that again can be found in trial chambers. They got some cool designs on them and I think that the whole set is honestly perfect for like a steampunk type build and sort of aesthetic. Yeah. We also have a bunch of new effects added to the game as well. These can all either be made from potions or produced by ominous trial spawners during combat. Infestation causes an entity to spawn one or two silverfish when hurt. So as you kill mobs in trial, they can spawn silverfish if they have this effect. Oozing will similarly cause two slimes to spawn upon an entity's death. Weaving will cause cobwebs to appear when an entity dies, making movement during combat difficult. And then we have wind charging. Wind charging causes entities to emit a burst of wind upon death. And this item here is called the ominous bottle. They can be dropped by raid captains or found in standard or ominous vaults. Consuming one gives you the bad omen effect. Of course, when you enter a village with this effect, it will start a raid. If you come close to a trial spawner with this effect, the bad omen becomes a trial omen, and all trial spawners nearby will become ominous. Up next, we have the crafter. The crafter is a redstone block that automatically crafts items and dispenses them, given it has supplies for it. When I click on it, you can see I have this recipe laid out, and when I click this button, out pops your mom. Tuff was added in 1.17, and as of this update, you can find a craft the new polished and brick variants, as well as the chiseled and chiseled brick variants. And of course, you have all the different slabs, the stairs, and the walls and stuff like that. Now, I know for a fact that these textures are going to be a huge inspiration for all the builders out there. And then off in this corner, we have the two new banner designs. This banner here has what's called the flow pattern. It's basically a nice little swirl. And then this one over here uses the guster pattern, and it resembles the new breeze mob, which we'll get to in a few moments. Up next is an item called the wind charge. Breezes will launch these at you during combat, and when a breeze dies, it'll drop an item called a breeze rod, which can be crafted to produce four wind charges. You can place these wind charges in a dispenser like I have here and launch them yourself. I've seen people experiment with this for things like obstacle courses, so it'll make for a really interesting use when it comes to game mechanics. If we step over here, this is what a wind charge entity looks like up close. It's easier to observe when it's stationary like this. When you right click on it, it'll poof away. Jumping on it and clicking it will propel you upwards. It can also interact with things like buttons and trap doors. So again, it can make for an interesting game mechanic. Next is one of the most anticipated features. We have here the breeze and the bogged. Both of these guys will spawn in trial chambers when you're in proximity to a trial spawner. Breezes will attack by jumping around you and launching its wind charge projectiles at you, and any projectiles launched at it will be deflected. As I stated before, they drop a breeze rod upon death. The bogs will attack much like their fellow skeleton variants, except the arrows it shoots are tipped with poison. They spawn not only in trial chambers, but additionally in swamps and mangrove swamps. Upon death, they have a chance of dropping a poison arrow alongside normal arrows, a bow, and bones, and you can also shear the mushroom sitting on top of its head. And then over here, we have the trial spawner and the trial vaults. The trial spawner can be found in trial chambers, and much like normal spawners, cannot be obtained with silk touch or a piston. You can tell what they spawn by looking at the block pattern on the floor around it. Trial spawners also have an ominous variant, which means that it gives better loot and spawns more difficult enemies than its traditional counterpart. If a player has a trial omen effect, the ominous variant will replace this one. When active, the corners will light up orange or blue depending on which variant you encounter. In order to beat the spawners, you must defeat all mobs before it can dispense any loot. Trial vaults can be opened with trial keys that are obtained from beating these spawners. 
Regular spiders will drop ominous keys, which are used to open this version, while the ominous ones will open the ominous version. Vaults have a wide range of loot, some of which includes new items that we'll get to shortly. Another one of the new mobs, which also happened to win the mob vote, is the armadillo. Armadillos can spawn in savanna and badlands biomes. It'll roll up into a ball whenever its damage is nearby an end of mob, such as the bogged over there, or when a player sprints past it. Every so often, it'll drop one of these scoots, and obtaining six will let you craft wolf armor. Using a scoot on wolf armor will heal it if it's damaged. Next, we have the Trial Explorer map. These maps can be obtained by trading with a journeyman level cartographer. Much like its other counterparts, these maps will help you find a trial chamber. Luckily, I found out that I was close enough to one of these even after I started building this location. These maps are a big help, but trial chambers will still spawn underground, so a little bit of digging is required. Over here, we have two new armor trims, the flow and the bolt trim. As you can see, I used netherite to emphasize the flow trim and gold for the bolt trim. Both of these trims can be obtained from vaults and trial chambers. Bolt trims are found in standard vaults, whereas flow trims are found in ominous ones. Up next we have the heavy core. Heavy cores can be found in trial chambers and can be mined if you use a pickaxe. Combining a heavy core with a breeze rod will get you the mace. Now the mace is really interesting because while by itself it only deals 6 points of damage, the damage that this thing can do is magnified if it's used while falling. The greater the fall, the greater the damage. So let's demonstrate this real quick. So in this demonstration, I am just over 50 blocks above this iron golem, and this height should be just enough to one-shot him, if I can do it correctly, that is. So, wish me luck. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> okay, that was too close. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. Okay, one more shot. There we go. The next feature we have are these brand new music discs. Two of them are by Lena Rain, Creator and its Music Box version, and the other one Precipice by Aaron Sheriff. All these are fairly rare drops that can be found in the trial chambers, so Precipice can be obtained from Standard Vaults, Creator in Ominous Vaults, and the Music Box version from Decorated Pots. So I'm going to give you a little taste of each one starting now. And then the next thing we have here are the new pottery shirt designs, Flow, Guster, and Scrape. Flow and Guster are just the designs from the banners that we saw before, the Swirl and the Breeze. The Scrape design depicts what appears to be an axe. All these can be found by breaking decorated pots and trial chambers. Of course we can't talk about the update without talking about the new paintings, so these are all five that Sarah Boving has done. And of course we can't forget about Mr. Zetterstrand. He's done 15 paintings for this new update, bringing his total up to 40 paintings in Minecraft. So now that we've gone through all of the other features, let's test out the Trial Chamber experience. Alright, here we are inside of a Trial Chamber. Now I picked this spot because, well, there's not really a starting point per se, so I just picked the one with all the beds. At least I can respawn here. So, let's get exploring. Alright, baked potatoes. Ooh, there's a chest here. Nothing in it, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure why I gave myself an axe to fight with, but it's better than nothing. Oh, there's a spawner. Oh God. Oh man. Did I mention I'm bad at games? <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, chicken. 
So yeah, you can see it's now inactive after I've gotten my prize. Oh, there he is. And we got a breeze rod. Neat. Oh boy. <gasps> oh. There we go. And it gave me more chicken. Let's check out the rest of this place. I wonder what else is in store. Ooh, all right. So yeah, we can start looting things here. Ooh, diamonds and stuff. We got our Guster Shard. There's a chest over here. Ooh, diamond, cake, and a block of iron. I think these places tend to have a really similar structure to the strongholds. So it's kind of a maze. You can get lost in here if you don't know what you're doing, which I kind of don't, so. Now what's up this ladder here? Oop, here we go. Looks like slimes. All right, more potatoes. <laughs> so far not the best loop, but it is what it is. Here we go. Oh, and there's spiders. Ooh, there's a key. Except my inventory is full. Um, let's discard. Let's, go, uh, let's get rid of the bricks. There's another key here too. Except I made the mistake of jumping into a cobweb. Oh, I'm actually gonna die. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> Yeah, having a regular dungeon does not help. Yeah, so when you come relatively unprepared, expect the worst. <laughs> Alright, so I still have my keys. What's inside of you? Oh, and I got one of the achievements. Well, now that we have an ominous bottle, let's test it out. That doesn't sound good. Uh-oh. I'm surely gonna die. Oh, it also launches projectiles at you. Hmm. Something is broken. Yeah, I'm very dead. <laughs> I'm just gonna retreat. It's... That was a bad idea. It was a bad idea to come so ill-prepared. Even though I gave myself- Oh, I guess I could always go back and get more. Oh, it's still active. Oops. Let us try again. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that's happening. I guess I put the command box a little too close to the, uh, the combat zone. Oh my. I think that's enough of a demonstration. So you can see just how intense the whole thing can get. So that's been the Tricky Trials update. If there's anything I missed or got incorrect, please comment below. It helps everyone. I'm really excited to play it and see what people can do with its content now that it's out. Go ahead and try it for yourself. And if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and to hit that little notification bell to stay up to date on future content just like this. My name's Piotic, signing off. Bye!